Hallelujah. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? (laughs) Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? (laughs) Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? (laughs) Glory be to my God. Hallelujah and glory be to my God. Glory be to my magnificent father. Glory be to the creator. Hallelujah. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? That I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts. And will give unto every one of you according to your works. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? What a great God. A perfect God. This magnificent being in whom our mortal minds cannot even wrap or fathom in mere words. Whom it is that he is. What it is that he is. Goodness gracious, how great a God. To sit up on high. To know the very depths of the oceans. Whose days cannot be numbered. Whose days are likened unto drops in a sea. Mm. Whose wisdom was set up in the beginning. By everlasting, from everlasting. Glory be to God. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? This God that rides the winds as his chariots. And we don't even know where the wind goes. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? He knows the very portals that the rains fall through. I didn't even know that there were portals that rain fell through until I read it in his word. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? To know the circuits from beginning to end. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? To command that the waters do not go past a certain point. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? But the thing that gets me, it says that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts. And I would give unto every one of you according to your works. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? He is known by his judgment. His very word. Is his covering. You know how we went over the Leviathan teaching? We found out that Leviathan's pride is his covering. His very scales are his covering. That's his armor. Our God, the God of Israel, the God of Hebrews, his very covering is his word proceeding before him. He don't even see it. Have you ever sat back and thought about God? This God that we serve is the judge. But you sitting here scared of a police. (laughs) You sitting here scared because you can't pay your bills. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. (laughs) But thou art rich in the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. But the synagogue of Satan. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? This great God that we serve. This great God that you can serve so freely. Who gives so freely. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? How can you, as an Israelite, as a being in whom he has given his covenant unto, could have given it to any other nation in this world? But unto the nation of Israel, have he given his covenant? Have he allowed his word, his very wisdom to rest, to dwell up in? Goodness. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? Mm, 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 mm. It says that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts and will give unto every one of you according to your works. Have you ever... (laughs) Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? This being 
Greater is he that is in me than the one that's in this world. Who can be against me if my God is for me? For that art, Lord, alone, a consuming fire. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? In whom you can chasten and humble yourself to know his word. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? The chief shepherd who guides you with his rod near the still water. As you walk it the valley of shadow of death. Glory be to God. <laughs> Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? He who tells you to be perfect as your father in heaven is perfect. That today's evil is sufficient enough that even he knew, that even he knows what the Gentile need. Don't repeat yourself. Don't ramble. Just come to him. He already know what you're going to him about. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? <laughs> the one who stilleth the battle, who breaketh the battle. Who, for, who is the farmer? Who is the creator? In whom you cannot go into the depths of the ocean and lie your bed, lie your graves in hell without him being able to know where it is that you are. Glory be to God. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? That your very next word, your very thoughts is not unknown unto him? <laughs> Glory be to God. This ancient of times. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Glory be to God. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? <laughs> and all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? Before you commit iniquity, before you can commit unrighteousness, have you ever just sat back and thought about God? Or are you acting like these damned nations that have no word to go after this? That have not been given his fiery statutes? Have you ever sat back and thought about God? Glory be to this God that we serve. Hallelujah and glory be to this God that we serve. Have you ever sat back and thought about this God? Mm, 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 mm. Hallelujah. Have you ever sat back and thought about this God? Whom is Lord alone? Whom is God unto Israel and none else? None else. Do you hear me? None else. I don't care what nobody else claim, pretend, and deceive that they've received from the God of Israel, the God of Hebrews. He's our God and none else. His very word tells you. Have you ever sat back and thought about God. <laughs> Have you ever sat back and thought about this God? This God that you can serve so freely. Who gives so freely. And whom can fulfill the very desires of your heart. Have you ever chastened your heart? To pick up your crucifix. And carry it. And die to yourself every day, every second. Have you ever sat back and thought about your God? Oh, my God. This God says in all the churches shall know that I am he. Which searcheth the reins and hearts. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? He is the judge. It don't matter what nobody do to you. You as an obedient Israelite, as a righteous Israelite who loves your God. And for he that love your God, you follow his commandments. Oh, that's how he know you love him. <clears throat> that's how he know you love him. Do you not know that everything that you reap, you will sow. If you reap in the flesh, you will. If you sow it in the flesh, you will reap in the flesh. If you sow it in the spirit, you will reap in the spirit. 
If you gather up the riches of heaven, you will receive the treasure that the Lord gives unto you. The very gift of faith. Faith is a gift. It's not something that you learn. <laughs> it's, not something, it's not something that you can hear someone else talk about and receive. This is something that he gives unto you in the very matrix of your mother. Have you ever just sat back and thought about this powerful God that we serve? For he is Lord alone. He is Lord alone. With no solitude. So why, my brethren, do you worship things with a solitude? Goodness gracious, have you ever just sat back and thought about God? And all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? It is he, your God, who searcheth the reins and hearts of every being. Because he knows he has an inheritance in everything. Because his very word proceedeth before his power. Have you ever just sat back and thought about this God? How perfect a God you have got to be. How everlasting a God you've got to be. How blessed a God you got to be. Whose very word is your covering. To be able to judge a planet righteously. Have you ever sat back and thought about God? Oh my God. I love my God. I will die for my God. And every word that I speak it is not in vain. I have been homeless for my God. Mm. I have been asked to, I've been asked to humble. I've asked my father to humble me for my God. I've asked my God to show me for my God. God, you show me that your word does what it's intended to do. You humble me. You chasten me. How great a God you are that my very forefathers and foremothers served you with valor, courage, righteousness, with zeal, with the desire to fulfill your very reason for us being here. I've given up all that I had in this world. And let me tell you, I will do it again and again and again and again and again and again everlasting for my God. Because have you ever just sat back and thought about God? I remember the day that I washed that makeup off my face. That I took those extensions out of my beautiful hair, out of my crown, my glory. That I took these foreign garments off of the temple of my father. And gave up my very home, my dwelling. <laughs> to be abased. I don't want nothing. You feed me, you clothe me. For man will not live off of man alone, but every word that proceeded at the mouth of the father. So you show me that your word does what it's intended to do. You show me that your very word is sure, that it's pure, and that you, it is your covering. You show me. I gave it all up overnight, so don't tell me you can't do it. I love my God. Have you ever just sat back and thought about this, God? Didn't miss nothing, didn't have want for nothing. I've experienced being at the bottom, very bottom. I've experienced being poor. I've experienced being homeless. Mm, 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 mm. So when I see my brethren that are in a position that I asked to be in, I give all that I have and more. Because I enjoyed being in that area. I, I enjoyed being in that space. In that experience. Yes it was hard. <laughs> I won't lie and say it wasn't. Going from being able to shower every day. Going there and cook. 
spend money in ways that I wanted to spend it with a vain mind, full of vanity of vanities. Indeed, it was a, a very different transition. But let me tell you, <laughs> I have never had so much and have been so wealthy, as wealthy as I am now. That my God knows me. That I know my God. That his countenance is not turned. Opposed to me. I can see where I'm going. I don't have to fumble in the noon. I know where I'm going. His very word is light. A lamp unto my path and light to my feet. Wisdom. Energy to the marrow of my bones. It quickens me. Have you ever just sat back and thought about this, God? I love my God. I love my God. He is a great God. More than worthy is he to be served. But here we still have these Israelites that are acting like Gentiles, Gracians, Greeks, upholding customs that are not of your father, that are not of the God of your fathers. But you wonder why your life's so hard. <laughs> You wonder why you're stuck, why you're depressed, why you're overeating, why your kid's homosexual, why you don't know, why you feel like you're going in a circle. <laughs> Glory be to my God. I sit here and I think about my God in everything that I do. No, I'm not saying I'm perfect. Mm, 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 mm. I am not. But to sit here and think about my God and in everything that I do, I think about my God because my father has instilled his statutes and has overwritten my heart and the table of my heart and in my mind. For ain't nobody on this earth got to ever walk past me and say, no, the father, baby, you know, I know my father. I know my creator. Everything that I do, my father is in my mind for fear that I disappoint him. That I go against the very reason that he created me. I love my God. I love my God. Instill the fear of God in your children. That's why so many children are walking around here damned. Menaces to society. Wanting to harm your own brethren. For what? Because he got some sneakers that you want? Oh, you full of covetedness? Let me tell you what happened to those that are covetedness. That are full of covetedness. Mm, 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 mm. Do you know. That what goes into you. Does not defile you. That does not profane you. Did you know that? <laughs> My brothers and sisters of Israel. Did you know that? Did you know that. That which coming to you. Is not that which profane or defile you. Did you know that? <laughs> But that which cometh out of man, that defileth the man. For from within, out of the heart of man proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetedness, wickedness, deceit, lavishness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. Mm, 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 mm. Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? <laughs> Have you ever just sat back and thought about God? Instill the statutes in your children. Raise them according to the way that you want them to go. You don't want them to stray away from their God. What happens when you leave this place? Your children should be able to teach with authority. But we think it's cute because your little girl can go out there and twerk. How does that look when she's 16? Or we think it's cute. Because our sons can cuss and sag their pants and walk around with a fade. How does that look when they 16? Acting like breeders. <laughs> Acting like what their oppressors have instilled in them to act like. What does it look like then? Have you forgotten your God? In the very forgetting of your God is the non following of his statutes, is the non following of his commandments. You've forgotten your God? Have you thought about God? 
Have you sat back and thought about your God? Oh. Whose very glory has made our apostles, our prophets before us, our prophetesses, our foremothers, whose very glory has dropped them to their feet, lifeless, with him having to speak the very word of life back into you. Have you ever thought about this God? Whom you cannot even touch, whom you cannot even look upon, whom's very voice make you plead for him to send someone else to convey his word, and whom a lot of us have not even followed or listened to. Mm. That's our God. That's our God. You ain't got nothing to worry about in this world, but thou art rich. Why would he bless you and give unto you the treasures that he has promised if you're not holding your end of the promise? Mm. Have you sat back and thought about your God? Have you sat back and beest thou not afraid but believe? Uh. For thou art whole. Your iniquities are forgiven. Have you sat back and thought about your God? <laughs> Y'all don't know this God I serve. Mm. You can't know this God that I serve. Y'all, I love my God. And I hate it, evil and wickedness so perfectly. This God... That tells you, don't envy a sinner. Why are you envying Satan? Why are you still believing that thou shalt not die when thou shalt surely die? For the wages of sin is death, or death. But are you still believing this lie? That you will surely live? Baby, you will die. Thou shalt surely die. Thou shalt see the forever, everlasting separation from your God. Uh, and all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works. You ain't got to question his judgment. You ain't got to question the way that he do anything. For he's known for his judgment. It's a just one. It's a pure one. He judges with a single eye. Knowing the very reins. The inner man. The spirit that dwells within you. For your one day is a thousand years unto him. Baby, he know what your children's children, 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 children are going to do. And your very child has not even been thought of. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Baby, don't go around here serving no other God but your God. Don't bow to nothing and no other man but your God. You fear nothing and no one but your God. You fear the one that can destroy your body and your soul. Mm. Don't you steal. Don't you murder. Don't be covered in this. Don't bear false witness. Mm. Remember the Shabbat. Mm, 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 mm. Do not commit adultery. Glory be to God. Honor thy father and thy mother. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Don't take his name in vain. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Do y'all sit back and think about this God that we serve? Mm. They have been saying it since biblical times. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Mm. And we think since we in the what the 21st century, whatever century we in, that it ain't gonna happen. You better remember that our God's very word is his covering. That every word that he speaketh does what it's intended to do. He is the only being that has mastered power. <laughs> So you better believe when he tells you to repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent. 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 Shuva. Repent. Just repent. And turn away. And yield the fruits of your God. That's it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works. Have you ever just sat back and thought about your God? 